Oh, how delicious that does that look? Well, made from a quarter of a loaf of bread and a large variety of fillings ranging from acha, poloni, slop chips and Russian sausage, it has to be one of the perfect fast food meals to get your tummy full. Yes, we're talking about the one, the only, Kota. Now this morning we've got a Sasko Kota inspired toasted sandwich recipe that is sure to hit the spot. It's going to hit the spot, right Carl? No, it has to hit the spot yeah. because you've got Sasko bread over here and the thing is when you have Kota inspiration though, you have to have the right elements, the right yes. flavours, etc. So let's do this, okay? I'm going to start off. Can okay. I start off? You start. So first, I mean, you've got some shredded chicken over here. It's very, very important to have it shredded. That way you can get all of the delicious flavours that I have for you over here. Yeah. Now, first and foremost, I've got some mayonnaise. Okay. I mean, mayonnaise is just beautiful. Mm -hmm. I know this is just, just... Let me just add this here and mix it together. Nice. You know, you <laughs> want a DJ on the show, <laughs> you get him to mix. Simple. So we're just going to mix it around there. I want to yeah. add some chutney. Ooh, yes. I mean, this is like heritage, That's right? Heritage yeah. right there. You know, so chutney gets added, just pop it in there. Nice. And then the thing is, do you know what you call a culinary sneeze? What? Acha! Excuse oh, me. Look at Sorry. You. I you see just what have you to did add there. that. Uh, you are the a king little bit. of puns, my just, friend. I want to just add that over there. And uh, just mix it all together. So now we've got like heritage flavors acha, yeah. chutney, mayo in there too. And um, just to kind of. Season to taste. You know, just a little bit of salt. You have to obviously. I have oh, you, to. You I'm want sorry. To be salt bay? I, I had to. And pepper bay. I had to. Pepper bay is here too. Nice. I want to add a bit more pepper though. You got a lot of richness I from the mayo and the chutney pepper. and that sort of thing. So. But I love the fact that we added acha because this gives it a bit of a traditional kota appeal. A toasted sandwich will never replace an actual kota. Uh, nothing beats that. But this is a really great kind of make do for that at home approach when you cannot actually get your hands on an actual kota. And remember to serve it with a Russian on the side just to give it that extra. Extra. It's yes, key, because you know? no, no, Russian obviously not problem here. South Africa, we got heritage, not problem. So you just hold the side, not good. Yeah, but that's good Vidania. Yeah, All that's right. Vidania. There we so go. So I'm using the Sasko Premium Slices White Bread over there. So um, we're just going to uh, put some nice soft butter on the outside because we want to get that beautiful golden brown exterior. You know, that's what yes. it's about. It's got to look lovely, toasty, crispy. And butter's oh. just liquor, man. That's why. It is. I think that's why you just add. Exactly. It's just go, go for it. It's fine. Go crazy. All right, so Carl, let's start filling that baby up there. I'm going to put uh, right. the... Okay, no, first put the... Yeah. Yes. Can I just add it to the side it. over here, though? I want to make sure I get to corner to corner over here because, as you know, you need to... Yes. There we go. Our keyword is Sasko. SMS that to 33728. We'll gladly send you the ingredients list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making this yummy, delicious recipe yourself. There we oh, go. Oh, loving it. Cheese. Very good. Oh, I want cheese, Paul. I want major cheese. Yeah, you have here. to. You have All to. All right, and then, guys, we're going to go for the slap chips. Slap chips. Oh, my word. Here we go. That's nice. the weekend. Now it feels Ooh, like it smells hun like tea. a weekend. Han tea. Make sure that's and nice. And don't forget and the, the vegetables. Of course, just, you know. <laughs> yeah, that's make just us feel better. <laughs> a lot better about ourselves. <laughs> With all those carbs, you have greens to exactly. make it feel a lot better. More cheese. Let's go, because you have to now balance too many greens. That just makes sense. This it's is the weekend. how I love to eat. And then we're going to pop our slice over there. Press it down nice and flat. And put it onto a, oh, maybe a bit too flat, eh? Place it onto a... a <laughs> But it has to be that uh, way, this you know? Is the way it must be. All right, cool. I've got the pan on a lower it heat. On? Yes, it is on. Don't worry about that. I actually got okay. it on a nice lower heat because the thing is, you know what happens if you want to put it on full whack? You're going to burn the bread on the outside. Yes. Your cheese is not going to melt and all of the internal ingredients are not going to get its time of day. So it's going to sit there and just beautifully just exactly. toast. Sasko, once again to 33728. We'll send you the ingredients list and the link to the recipe, and you could be making this kota inspired sandwich yourself. But here, check this out if you want to see how we made it one more time. Sasko, baking together since 1930. South Africa is a country full of heritage, and it comes with its own flavors and meals. One of the most popular and loved has to be the kota, an African sandwich. So why not try your hand with this Sasko Gota inspired toasted sandwich recipe? You can make it in a hurry and it's delicious for a slap up Sunday night supper or a lunch at home with friends and family. To get started, spread two tablespoons of good quality butter onto two slices of fresh Sasko premium sliced white bread. Then mix 200 grams cooked chicken, shredded or sliced with one tablespoon of mayonnaise and two tablespoons chutney. 
Next, start assembling the sandwich by layering the chicken mixture, baked oven chips, grated mozzarella cheese, and some baby spinach onto one of the slices of Sasco Premium Slices white bread with the butter facing the outside. Top the sandwich with the other slice of bread also with the butter facing the outside. Place your sandwich into a hot pan and cook until both sides are golden brown and crispy and the cheese has melted. Cut the sandwich in half and serve. Are you a fan of the gota but don't know where to grab one in town? Worry no more with this delicious Sasco gota inspired toasted sandwich recipe. You'll be making them at home regularly. And there we go, that keyword once again, Sasco to 33728. You could be making this delicious Sasco Kota inspired sandwich yourself. Carl still cooking his? I, I am indeed. The thing is, you, you can't put, um, you know, time on quality. Exactly. So I'm still cooking mine as we, as we speak, though. I just it needs some time to just sort of marinate, and at the end of it, you just kind of say to yourself, you know, con congratulations. Thanks. Exactly. Um, that happens to the well, best of us. Yeah. Uh, while he's waiting for his to finish cooking, I've already got one prepared. We're going to jump into it straight after the Sasco to 33728. Nice. Sasco, baking together since 1930.